the Borderland Territorial Region has undergone a transformative change since the signing of the historic Boro Peace Accord. This was stated by BTR Chief Pramod Boro. In an exclusive conversation with Northeast Life Chief of Bureau Arindam Das on the sidelines of the first inter sixth scheduled Premier League football tournament, Pramod Boro said, that under the able leadership of Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sharma, the region has witnessed peace and development after decades of violence and bloodshed. We are joined in by BTRCM, Mr. Pramod Boro. Well, we have seen that uh, Boroland has a history of violence. There are incidents of bloodshed here in this Boro belt. So right now, how is the situation in Boroland, uh, particularly after the peace accords have been signed? Uh, we can see lots of transformation uh, in many ways. Uh, I am, uh, you know, uh, uh, with this situation since last, uh, you know, like uh, more than four decades, three, four decades. So uh, in three, four decades, continually we are witnessing violence, killing, patricidal killings, and conflict between underground and uh, you know the state uh, police and paramilitary or militaries. So uh, it was a very you know uh, like a, a very panic uh, kind of situation in Bodoland that uh, we are witness uh, even we have been witnessing that when one underground people uh, killed by any you know the armed forces uh, they are also citizen of the country he is also citizen of the country and if army police are killed by militants they are also you know the citizen of the country so we can't take part of uh, you know you can take any side uh, you know, either in favor of the underground or in favor of the military, because both are our people. So it was a situation of the Bodoland. That's why it was a firm decision of the Bodo nationalist organizations and uh, some of the, you know, the committed people. And uh, to stand with the government policies, then uh, we have been looking forward that some uh, leaders will come sometime in India who will take decisions. And when uh, Modiji uh, became Prime Minister of India and Amit Shahji became the Home Minister of India, uh, at the same time, uh, our uh, present Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sarmaji, before becoming Chief Minister, uh, as he realized all the problems, uh, so so he also, uh, you know, took the responsibility to, uh, you know, bring back peace in Borderland region. And we all, we all uh, supported him and we all took them in confidence. They also, uh, you know, took us in confidence. Then the process started. And 2020 Accord is a landmark, you know, uh, because uh, everything changed after 2020 Accord. So now we can see the peace in Borderland region. Uh, yes, there is still uh, some elements are there who try to, you know, the create trouble uh, in the peace process and ongoing, uh, you know, the uh, peaceful situation. But our chief minister is very firm that uh, he won't allow, he will never allow any kind of violence, and he, uh, you know, uh, uh, he uh, trained and he. Uh, uh, he ordered uh, his forces, he, you know, uh, uh, designed uh, like that key. there won't be any kind of violence again in Borderland region or any part of the Assam. So we are very happy with his decision and now uh, we are uh, trying from our side also that uh, there won't be any kind of, uh, you know, the violent situation again in Borderland. Uh, we want uh, to be, you know, the part of the progressive India. And speaking on the issue of insurgency, Pramod Boro said that relentless efforts have been made by the state government as well as the centre to bring militant outfits to the talk table and shun the path of violence. As such, there are no more splinter groups or factions left in the BTR. Well, Borolan has been the hotbed of militancy with several groups active here. Not only Boro militant groups, but also Adivasi and other groups were there. But most of them have right now come over for talks. They, are on, they have come to the table for talks. So, what do you feel right now? All the groups have come or there are still some splinter groups or other groups who are trying to disturb the reason? No, uh, actually, uh, I was also uh, trying to, you know, the motivate there some of the leaders for joining the mainstream and peaceful process because uh, some of the youths they are frustrated 
and they had no you know uh, confidence on this process of uh, you know peace process uh, but uh, uh, they met me before be for three years when I before I, I'm joining in the politics so at the time I mo I try to motivate them and uh, I, I also requested some of the government forces uh, government agencies that uh, they should be taken in confidence uh, in Assam uh, most of the you know the uh, tribes the tribal people adivasi people they are uh, most of the time they are uh, you know uh, not well connected with the development process somewhere they are missing somewhere they are you know uh, disconnected so they feel deprived they feel alienated and sometimes it's also fact that most of the development schemes uh, they don't it doesn't reach to their places so uh, they feel that the government uh, they don't take and take care of us so they don't listen us sometimes uh, they want to meet the leader of the state sometimes they want to meet the you know the uh, administrator bureaucrats they, but they don't entertain them in uh, many you know the years but uh, it's changing now our present chief minister he's meeting every people every organizations and he is uh, you know that he is uh, giving uh, you know the order to the administration also not to dishearten these uh, youths who are you know uh, the joining in arms group or any anyone who is in the peace process so all are you know that they have uh, now confidence in their mind that something is going to happen so this time i don't think that any splinter group group will become will come up again any splinter will be group will be there because if anyone uh, uh, do that uh, they you know uh, again they uh, go away of this process or they form any underground group that will not sustain so you're saying that no splinter group is right now left behind I don't think, uh, I don't think, and I don't have any information on that. If some uh, someone or somebody is thinking that it will be wrong for uh, their society and themselves. Well, the PTR chief also gave out details of various developmental projects which are currently in the pipeline for boosting overall infrastructure in the PTR. What are the major developmental activities you are taking up right now? And one more thing, uh, we have always heard that. Uh, the Greenfield Airport was always proposed for Kokrajhar. So at what stage is that airport? Uh, see, we have already one airport in Rupsi. That's, uh, you know, the already built. And it's going to expand uh, by the authority uh, of India. So uh, we have that airport. Uh, we have here one uh, Greenfield uh, heliport where uh, three big helicopters can chopper can land at a time like uh, whenever prime minister comes whenever president of india comes we have that, that facility here uh, uh, you are asking about the peace process now uh, the peace is prevailing in our region and we are thinking of sustainable peace uh, in the region that's why we have the motto uh, peaceful borderland smart borderland and uh, you know the uh, peaceful smart and uh, happiness these things are we are starting to do uh, for that we have formed so many uh, institutions now we have uh, borderland happiness mission where we are engaging all the communities uh, you know to understand each other that will uh, we are thinking that that will bring us sustainable peace uh, for economic development we have so potential so much potential in handloom and handicraft so we are focusing on that we have big sericulture mission uh, uh, with the uh, you know the guidance of the honorable uh, minister of textile uh, darsana zardozi in the center and with the uh, honorable chief minister of assam uh, we have a big uh, livestock mission uh, it's also more than 2,000 crore mission uh, for Bodolen. Uh, 60,000 different family will be engaged. And in the uh, sericulture mission, we are going to engage more than 4 lakhs weavers. Uh, and uh, youths for youths, we have, uh, you know, uh, started so many activities. Like this year, we have sent 50 youths for uh, UPSC in Delhi with our government fund. So uh, yeah, these are the uh, students of humble background for poor for poor families. Uh, we have sent them these talented youths for UPSC. And 50 uh, students, we are, uh, you know, uh, providing coaching here for IIT in Kokrajhar only. 
and also 50 were planning for uh, medical, uh, you know, the medical science. And uh, sports we are taking very seriously, where if uh, our Olympic Association allow, we are going to uh, organize uh, Borderland Olympic this year. And we are planning five uh, football academy and uh, some uh, kind of discussion going on with some groups of Argentina for training our uh, youths in the football, uh, for football, uh, you know, uh, football training football coaching and uh, we have uh, already 12 different centers where we are training our paramilitary uh, our youth for para joining paramilitary and police now uh, if you see the uh, uh, data more than 20 uh, percent of the youths uh, this time the commando and uh, police uh, you know the services they are getting from our side our uh, five districts Bodoland districts and in APSC also first time uh, there is a big number that they have cleared the APSC this year. So uh, most lots of uh, changes taking place, lots of development taking place. It's a blessing by the Honorable Home Minister and Chief Minister of Assam. So we look forward that uh, in days to come we will have uh, lots of development in our region. Thank you very much. That was uh, BTRCM Promote Borough speaking exclusively to North East Live. Reporting from Krokazar with camera person Nava Muktiar. This is Arindam Das for North East Live.